Doors that must be closed. Eh. Uh, the first message to require now katika ibada ya kwanza now to call na ibada ya pili and the Lord will bless us. Mulango mwingine wa pili we had the first one that God want to cross. Ni mulango ambao naitwa crisis. Crisis. Threat. Eh, let me explain this. Ukienda katika katika John chapter 2. John chapter 2. Aha. Starting that uko na your Bible. John chapter 2. Aha. That is powerful. Nasema hivi. Na siku ya tatu palikuwa na nini? Arusi huko kana ya ya galidi. Nae mama yake Yesu alikuwepo. Na Yesu naye alikuwa amealikwa arusini pamoja na wanafuzi wake. Hata divai ilipo tindikia. Mama Yesu akamwambia Hawana divai. Yesu akamwambia mama tuna nini? Mimi na wewe saa yangu haijawaandia Woman what have I to do with thee my hour is not yet come Mamae akawaambia watumishi Lolote atakalo waambia fanyeni Basi kulikuwepo huko mabalasi sita ya mawe nao yamewekwa huko kwa desturi ya Wayahudi ya kutawatha na kila moja lapata kadri ya ya nzio bili tatu yesu akawambia jazeni manji sasa tekeni now I would like to say something kuna mtu kuna watu wanaishi hatari baada ya hatari crisis after crisis kwamba anything you do inakuacha kama mgojwa inakuacha na hata kama uli, ulifanikiwa ukikubuka barabara uliyopitia unaona hakika umeumia sana kama ni mtoto alisoma kama ni safari ya na ndege kama ni nyumbo lijenga kila wakati unaponyoka tu eh? you really miss danger you miss being crushed you miss crisis every time let me explain some issues zinazofanya mtu awe hivyo kuna watu humkibiria bwana wakati wa hatari yani wewe Mungu ni Mungu wa mahitaji sio Mungu wa ushirika watu kama hao hawatakosa nafasi abao wana wana wanamuita Mungu wakiwa almost to perish kuna group ingine ambao wanapenda mambo makubwa but they are easy. I want to, to prove that. There are brothers who are brothers and sisters yenyewe hupenda mambo makubwa but they are easy. They, na na wako na elimu they are skilled. Engineer they are skilled. They love great things and they are skilled. But normally they are lazy. Hello praise God. Umewewa kuona manafuzi kwa class Amezoea kulala Eh? Sidiyo? Eh? Miyako? Amezoea kulala Anastukia masomo Mutihani umebaki wikigapi Mikimbili Kuna wale uzoea hivo Wakati Labda kuwa form 1 Akiwa stradi 8 Lakini kuna mahali masomo Haita kubali hivo 
Kuna wale ambao na hii msikize. Amen. Kuna wale ambao mama eh we hujali sana useme hujali sana wageni hata kama wanakuja within 10 minutes ati unajua vile unatajipanga kuna mahali utafika hiyo method you not work na kwa maana umezoea hivyo kuna pahali apapo maisha itakwambia hali ya kugojea sana umelala uamkio kuwa umebaki wiki moja bili ilifanya kazi wakati ulikuwa kijana ilifanya kazi wakati ulikuwa mnakaa wawili but now this time life is demanding management bwana tusaidie sana haya let me show something kuja hapa engineer kuna mtu na hiyo tabia haya kuna mwingine angalia pande ile kuna watu ambao kwa sababu utaki kuchoka haraka na kusubuka jabo likifikaribia unalisukuma mbele nitajenga leta ukikaribia uko na miaka 40 na ungali una matumaini kwamba utajenga haya miaka 50 miaka 60 what you happen Kuna mahali tafika hiyo jabo haitawafanyika. Hata Mungu mwenyewe anaona umezeeka. Si ni kweli? Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Si, si tuko hivyo watu wengi. Ogeni ukweli. Ogeni ukweli kabisa. Hallelujah. Mimi najua watu kwa hii kanisa nimelewa watu wengi ambao they are ever ever doing things ever jabo wakati wa difalo afadhali ye yeah. akiamua kununua shaba afadhali achukue <laughs> praise the name of the lord hallelujah natamu niambie nyumba kama hii mnaona hapa by towers iko na ngrova kama nane. siku siku vichi is very hard ukiwa na miaka 70 ustukie ati ujenge nyumba kama hiyo it's very hard nimepeleka mzee mmoja ako na plot wacha hii ya maguta maguta mnaambwa na anaitwa nani huyu eh yeah? gedingivia yake ni maguta kabisa very prime neighbor amejenga gorofa 7 mwingine 8 nikampeleka akapata kitabulisho akapatikana kwa miaka 8 akaulizwa do you have a daughter or a son about a joint account. Kwa sababu naonekana ai kuongea ukweli. Ni wale ambao wanaitwa chochote chaweza toke. May God help us. Nataka tufuge mrango wa crisis. Jabo ambao watakuwa kufanya engineer George sasa na nguvu ya sasa alifanye. Hallelujah. Nuambie, hizi nyuma mnaona iziri, hakuna mtu wakona pesa. Unaona mtu wameda kwa bank. Kuna wakati moja niambia pastor moja, nataka ni kutete kwa manager moja, tuoge. Unajua kuna mbapo kwa bank watu, wabiwagi. Mani ya kabia bishop, nitakuwabia kitu, tunafanyia watu, tunao trust kwa bank. Gani? Abia huyu mchugaji atafute plot very commercial. Na kwa heshima yako tutanunua na title tuwadike jina ya bank na jina yake. Na tutamungengea. Ata deposit haikuwa issue. Tulikuwa tutuoge na wakubwa. Ajegewe nyumba kama angrofa tano Awe, ikireta elfu miya sita, elfu miya tatu, inata kwa bank, elfu miya tatu kwa mfuko. Hakuna pesa yake hapo. Nika miya mchukaji wa sikia, e, na kuambia haa kufanya. Niri gojewa, nika bambu bishop, we want to help somebody that you love. Bwana inuliwe sana. 
You know, sasa niambie. Nyumba kama ile kama umepewa loan ya 30 million. Hii oh, ni kama 100 million. Let's say love the 8 million. Si lazima hiyo nyumba ilipe. Si itachukua muda. Na sio chini ya miaka 20. Miaka 20. George kuanzia sasa. Si utakuwa guka ile riu ambao hata huku inaona ile tuna ambao na Mr. Kiade tunakuwa kibogoyo please the lord no you see shida tuko nao sasa ni kwamba watu tulio hai na tunaona kama tuko na nguvu tunafikiria tuko duniani miaka mingi very soon Mungu utahesabiwa by the way very soon uko karibu kuhesabiwa kama mtu ambaye you are not current affairs Watoto wako di wanatakana. Very soon. See, wewe. Very soon. Brother Gadaiga. But about now, we don't want you. Bring your daughters. See, very sana. And I won't tell you the truth. That I kuwa ombea sasa. Kira unatakiwa kufanya sasa kifanyike. Kwa maana hii hali ya kwaba, tunastukia mambo. Na musiogope, anointing ya mungu huodo uoga. Anointing ya mungu huleta nuru. Anointing ya mungu huleta uhakika. Hallelujah. Na hakuna mutu hapa hezi kuwa tajiri. Na hawezi kuwa milionaire. Hawezi kuwa cabinet secretary. Hakuna mutu hana nafasi. Nafasi hiko. You are all open to greatness. But nimegudua. Watu wengi. Anataka alale. Hello, praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Haya, sikizeni. Umeo na mutu, mwanua plot. Hau kuchukua taito. Ingine, hata hau kupewa barua transfer. Gali, hau kupewa rogi book. Unamabo kama kuminatano ambao hau kumaliza. What you happen? Hello, what you happen? In those kuminatano, you are likely to lose 10. Like to lose? Let me example. Kuna, one day ni kiwa ngong, tukua na bishop. Mama moja akaja kasema, nataka kudonate plot wakanisa. Nikabia bishop, haraka. Tode kajiado. Tuchukua taito. Iadikuwa apostolic faith. Hatu kujua umama, kwamba alikuwa kaya mwaka moja tuwa kufe. Let me tell the truth. Watoto waka wakujua kwaba tunataito. Mazishi ilipo isha wakasema kanisa ibomorewe haraka. Shaba ni yetu tukawabia taito tukonae. Wakanyamasa. Kuna pasta wetu moja mombasa amepewa shaba prime bili. Very prime. Hakufuatilia. Mwenye kumpa, ameaga. Uyu pasta, hamefukuzwa. Kabisa. Washirika hana. Hako huku wakiregalega tuprepole. Wakati ya lipewa, hakechukua title deed. Hameke wapi? Musigoje mambo sana. Fanya mambo wakati ufao. Hakuna wakati utafika iwe kwamba, utamuka ujenge nyuba kama hizi kumi. Life is a matter of space and time. Hallelujah. Nabia was chana kama onazana omeolewa za sasa. Wabedi? Sasa. Nyinyi madada musidaganyo. Wanaume hawazeki. Mwanaume hato wameakaite. Ayaza wawa na musidana pate mimba. Lakini mama kuzana miaka 40, miaka 45 is dangerous kwa afya. Is it true? Sasa niambie, kazi yako duniani ni kuzaa peke yake. Abia muzee, muzee haraka, diyo waza kazi ya akiri. Kama kona nguvu. Sijui yu, Jenny Simon, siku kufatiria sana, ulizana spidigani, lakini taagalia. Sasa de, Nikitaada, takuja badri ni angalia, nitaona. Gethaika, ungari kwa kazi? Usiyomia za mama? Oh, sawa. Kenyo mamaliza? Joro, hamepakisha. Eh? Joro na bishop. 
usitio beyo maopi <laughs> hehe huyu dia anaingia sasa tumuombee sana naona nasikiza injili it's true tuseme ameolewa leo azai next year sababu sisi naambia wazai haraka usizui wazaa mkatoto kwa moja tuone tu ishara ya doa hii tukione ki iko kiami inati akau hello lakini kikaa kama na nguvu akaemea kaingine sita ndio wazae aka ingine sita ndio wazae atafika miaka 55 akiwa angalia na nyonywa time yako ya kutumia akili na kucontribute kwa doa itakuwa kidogo sana mama mnaniangaliaje kwani naongea uongo ngai si nimejazwa roho he haleluya bwana asifiwe ati unakaa unakaa muziki akiwa na pesa tutazaa alafu kwa miaka 35 unataka kuzaa kila mwaka 35 36 siku hizi mnazaa wawili watatu wapia mzee mzee hiyo nimesikia ma gakara nyinyi no nyumane kuna poja aliambia bishop mama ameniambia uliaigwa mtoto wa gapi Sio kama wazazi wetu walikuwa wanataka kila mwaka wa 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 kama photocopy. Sasa yeye aja vile amesikia ameambia mzee au mtu wao ni anakuwa nyumbani ya. Inaonekana hamna nguvu sana. Hawa kila mama shiku walikuwa wanazaa isipokuwa ni miaka hata akiongezeka akiongeza ule. Mwa void let's avoid crisis. Let's avoid hautaamuka ujenge nyumba kumi naomba Mungu tu awajalie mwaka huu nunua kaplot mwaka ujao jenga miaka kumi njao lipa run si ndio miaka kumi ikiisha si uko na watoto wako high school wasomesha na hiyo pesa wakimaliza si ubaki na hiyo nyumba na mama mkule mzeeke maisha hata is ukukaa hivi huyo mnararaka huku unakaa unakaa tutaamka tu mwili utakataa akili takataa na dunia itakukataa nitawaombea leo baraka za umri wako sasa uzipate haleluya and that's why jesus hii mambo ya kwamba kila wakati unafurahia sana unafurahia sana hatari kila wakati anything you do kuna hatari unapitia Ulipo kuo ki ukinunua kitu ulipitia hatari fulani anything hata ah, naomba bwana atupe maisha ambao hii crisis ziishe na mimi nikataka tuombe sana in Jesus Christ name nataka kuona kila mtu akona bio yake bio ya miaka thate ukibie bio ya miaka 35 ukibie bio ya miaka 40 ukimbie bio ya mwaka 50 ukimbie nami muniombe muni nitawaombea shetani anaowapinga awaache sasa saa nyingine hata sikupingwa hata shetani hayuko ni wewe huamki haupigwi na anything unajua one day kuna kijana alienda kwa bank Diamond Trust akaambia manager manager can you trust me and you experiment with me watakaje nataka gari ya transport kama si talipa kuja mchukue muuze kai and the boy ni kijana wa kanisa anamjua ah uh, odo alihama sikuisa yuko hapa the boy was so confident akaba baba yako ako wapi baba akaitwa baba akasema hapana hii ni mambo ya huu mimi niko hapa tu nikimuombea manager akagalia akasema i'll give you nilito niombe hiyo gari kijana within one year one year hivi alipa hiyo gari akaambia manager did you see it yes give me another one sasa ako na saba baba ameambia bishop hakuna dururu nimeumpa huyu ni ujasiri wa imani yake. He, nisalimieni. Mko tayari kuishi? Kuona mema? Mi nataka kusikia news. Nisikie nyumba hapa, nisikie hapa, tunaenda nisikie injinia gari, nisikie wewe kitu, mambo ya kukaka na kuona tu saadi. Hakuna kitu unaniambia. Na vile nimewaombea. 
Kai. Eh? Nataka kuniambia baada ya bishop nataka ubaki. Why wiki hii tuka tuka eh tukafungue nyumba nimejegea mama yangu. Kaka kidogo bishop kuja. Wekere huyo mkono. Nataka huyu sasa next year apate scholarship aende America. Vitu kama hizo sio ziko. Ah, muzipoke na kila wakati munipe kazi ya kuziombea. It's possible. Amen. In Jesus name. Nimesema razima mambo hii ya, ya, ya kunyamaza na kupotesa wakati na mamba ya crisis na kustuka kila wakati iishe. Anzeni sasa kutembea na mungu Ibrahim. Katika jina la Yesu mwana wa mungu alia hai. Hallelujah. Ili, haya sikiza, ili kama utafika pahali ambapo. Kwa maana Yesu ako na wewe. Niambia the other day, kire kilifanya arusi ya kana ya galini, iwe different. Ni vasi ya sema, na Yesu Kristo na wanafunzi wake wakalikwa. Yesu, wakozi mwenyewe, what other group? Disciples. Always have Jesus Christ and his followers around you. Usweke wakora. Sasa, skiza, Kristo alipo alikwa by the grace of God. What happened? Nafasi ya aibu ilitokea. Si alikweko. Si alikweko. Mariama nisamanje na kida yesu atasema muse, mufa. Naomba ata kama kutakuwaji. As long as Kristo ako na wewe. Nafasi ya Kristo kukuondolea aibu na madhihaka iko. Na buwana hata kosa kukuambia jabu abara ukiti utaeda bari. Na sasa katika Kristo mungu wa mirere awabariki. Jabu rapiri. Jabu rapiri la mana sana. Are you there friends? In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Tak to the body to the kitabu cha Mark chapter 5. Hapo hapo to the Mark chapter 5. Bible inasema wakafika ngambo ya bahari mpaka inchi ya wagerasi. Na alipokuisha kushuka choboni mara alikutana na mtu ambaye ametoka makaburini mwenye pepo chafu makao yake yalikuwa pale makaburini wala hakuna mtu yoyote aliyeweza kumfunga tena hata kwa minyororo kwa sababu alikuwa amefungwa mara nyingi kwa pingu na minyororo aka akafanya nini akaikata ile minyororo na kuzivujavuza zile pingu wala hakuna mtu aliyekuwa na nguvu ya kumshinda there is this situation ukiangalia hii scripture inasema mambo mawili ambao ni ya maana haya hebu tuende katika hiyo verse aha verse 3 inasema hakuna mtu yoyote aliweza kumfunga. Do you see that? Do you see that? No one was able to bind him. Twende bere kidogo. Verse 4 pale mwisho hakuna mtu aliyekuwa na nguvu za kumshinda. There are two sessions zinaongea kuhusu a desperate situation. One This man, in a, by the way, neither could anyone tame him. No kienda verse 3, verse 2, in a sema, no one could bide him. No one could bide him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Buwana sifuwe sana. Katitka inchi ya wagerasi, there was the rule of region na this man ambaye alikuwa na pepo maelfu bible inasema vizuri no one no one was able to bind him and number two no one 
was able to tame him. Is that okay? Amen. There's something God wants to stop. Utawara wa he kitu na ito no one is able. No one is able. No one is able. Kuna roho inatembea katika families. Ya kuwa desperate. Kuna roho inatembea katika maisha ya watu. Ambo inasema no one. Inasema nini? Hakuna mtu awezae kumfunga. Hakuna mtu ambao agemshika. Look at me. That spirit is too much. Hapa tukiongea ukweli. Nyimu liyo hapa. Kuna sehemu ya maisha yako. Ambao. Leo kiulizwa. Imekueza. Iyo area. Haujui utafanyaje. Is that true? Kuna ule. Yes. Kuna an issue in your family. Threat. Ambao tukiandika we can say. No one is able. Na bwana kaniambia niambia kanisa kuna mambo lazima tufunge kuna mlango lazima tufunge kama tutaenda bali in Jesus name in Jesus name this man alikaa kwa hiyo inchi na the whole area was known that no one could tame him and no one could bite him that was a conclusion it was a conclusion final and clear Kumanisha kwamba kuna mahali utawara wa hii mapepo ulifika wanadamu akasema no we have no hope here now and by the authority of god i know nikiwa na ujasiri wote kuna mtu hapa in your family katika maisha yako kuna kitu kinakuambia no one can tame me no one can bite me Mambo mengine huwa hauna shida lakini hiyo issue ikifika ili kuweza na unasikia kabisa there's no hope. Amen. Kuna msichana nilimwombea deliverance. Alikuwa na pepo ambao iliua watu kwa family sana sana. Mungu aliponifunulia kwamba alikuwa na weapons kwa macho yake alianguka chini akasema bishop umeniweza bishop nimeisha kabia muka akasema mahali alikuwa ametoka hakukuwa kunajulikana kuna any bishop any pastor angejua siri iliyokuwa kwa macho yake yeye yeah, alikuwa anaenda makanisa anayatawara kitaka mnamuombea anaanguka anagaga pepo inatoka lakini macho yake ikekaribisha pepo inarudi aliua hata mapastors aliua niposema in the name of jesus sirazi hizo kwa macho yako nimezikosesha nguvu asema nimeisha kwa family ambayo nilikuwa nimealikwa alikuwa anawatawara vile anataka in fact alipokobolewa alisema the grandmother wa hiyo watoto ndiye alikuwa auawe mwezi wa machi ule kijana amebaki kwa familia moja hapo moja peke yake mwezi wa juni alikuwa muue na alikuwa akielekea anaua but Mungu aliingia akafichua silaha zake na aliisha nguvu haleluya i want to address an issue door that we must cross door ya pepo zinazosema no one can tame that no one can bite it no one can stop it na hiyo area yaweza kuwa hata una ndugu yako hutumiwa na pepo in that method kuna mtu kazini hutumiwa hivyo haleluya kuna hali hutumiwa hivyo in your life mimi leo nataka tuamini Mungu we stop those powers no one could tame him no one could bite him na alitebea hiyo inchi bila nataka na watu hiyo inchi wakasema hatuwezi huyu na wakamwacha 
hatutaruhu sukwe hivo we must close that door let's start for prayer baba katika jina la yesu na kushukuru kwa maana una nguvu na uweza kama una imani ndio mkono juu na unisikize hakuna kesi tunakuwa naye sasa hakuna mtu tutaenda kunegosha naye mambo tuataka hiyo milango tuifuge saa hii wengine hapa una mtoto ambaye hujui utafanyaje na yeye mtoto it is written no one no one in your family mwingine hapa there is an issue in you hata uobe namna gani unasikia there is no hope here mimi nawaambia nikiwa blessed Mungu ninayo mtumikia mnatoka hapa Kristo akiwa amekanyanga hiyo area inchi ya wagerasi those demons ziketavile nataka but the moment Jesus stepped in zilitoka mali zilikuwa zikamwinamia and Christ took over na language ya kwamba no one could tame him no one could bite him it is over when Christ took over i say things are getting now to another dimension nataka mtu ambaye una idi unasema this one mimi kwa nguvu zangu nimefika mwisho nikiogea ukweli hapa mimi sijui itafanyaje nataka leo mjue Kristo vile aliingia nchi ya Wagrasi akakanyanga hivi pepo ambazo no one against kamuinamia i now announce by the word of god this there are demons powers of darkness that are bowing to feet of christ now na mjue mungu ndiye ananena ukitoka hapo utasikia una mamlaka ingine na amani ambayo hujaikuwa naye nasema katika jina la Yesu haleluya haleluya kile kimembaki tu ni utazame uone kwamba kuna mambo ambao yametisha nyumba yako lakini yameinamia ya miguu ya Kristo kuna mtu alikuwa kimuona unasikia stomach ulcers but now yeye yeah, anakuogopa kuna malipot Setania ameweza kukupiga naye but now he is no longer there. Eh hey, wanasema no one can tame him. No no one can bite him. But Jesus came in and demon noticed the one who could bite them has already entered and they have to bow at his feet. I speak to that demon. I speak to that stronghold. My God, anoint this sister now. Anybody that unahitaji Kristo akanyage area moja ya maisha yako ambao imekuwa hujui what to do imekutisha miaka yote kuja hapa bere just come here hmm. Jesus Christ